Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. This time I'm going to be replacing the anti-roll bar drop links. As you can see here, the rubber's perished, so I've got a couple of new ones to put in. I've gone through the trouble of replacing the track rod ends. So you've got nice new ones here and the lower ball joints, nice new ones in there. Now I just need to sort this problem out. In theory, this job should be quite straightforward, but it's never like that. The easiest job could take a long time. Like always, I'm just gonna start by spraying a load of penetrating fluid over my drop link and on the nut on the bottom. I have already done this before, so hopefully the penetrating fluid's already soaked into where it needs to be. Instead of wasting time faffing around, trying to remove this nut off the bottom, and then wrestling this off. What I'm gonna do is just get the angle grinder out. I'm gonna cut this nut off the bottom, put a slit in this um, till it goes through to the anti-roll bar. And then I'm gonna separate it a little bit and hopefully it should make removing this much easier. Now I need to try and remove it off of here. You can see that doesn't want to budge. Here I've got a little wedge. So, as you can see here, I thought this was part of the anti-roll bar, but it's not. It's the inside of the drop link. So it's got this metal collar on here, which I need to try and remove. Let's see if I can get a screwdriver in there to separate it. Okay. fighting me all the way. Just got to try and remove this old rubber bush. I've already cut it in half pretty much. So now for the fun part, we need to try and get this rubber bush through the hole in the lower arm. Let's take this off. Put that to one side. We need to try and get this through this hole. And as you can see, it's much larger than the hole. So what I'm gonna do first. So here I have the rubber bush in some boiling hot water. That's just to make it more pliable to get it through the hole. I've got some washing up liquid here as a lubricant and that should help push it through. And I've also got this G clamp set up which I'm gonna try and use to press it through. Just put some washing up liquid on this rubber bush. Now I'm gonna put that on top there. And I'm gonna get this G clamp here. And we'll put that underneath there. There we go, right. Try and get that rubber bush nice and straight on there. Now I'm going to start winding it up and get it centralised. You can see that really doesn't want to go through. So I'm going to get a screwdriver now and just try and Ease it through a bit and with a little bit of wiggling I would say that's pretty much through and we're through I'm just using a bit of emery paper to clean up this shaft get rid of any bits of rust on there I'm just going to put a bit of copper slip on the anti-roll bar shaft. That should help the new one go on. They are actually handed, so make sure you get the right one. And in order to press this on here, I'm just gonna get a bar in there. So, a crowbar, I think. I'm gonna carefully wiggle it on. In there. I'll try that 
punch just on the inner face. So I've just wiggled on my new anti-roll bar link. I believe it's supposed to have an R-clip through here, but I've got nowhere to put the R-clip on this one. Whether it did have one before and it's just rusted off, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe it's just an interference fit because it was a very tight fit getting it on. I don't think it's going to come off in a hurry, let's just put it that way. I'm not going to put one on for now, but if you think it's supposed to have an R-clip, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So now I'm going to get this washer. I'm going to put it over this shank. I'm going to try and push it through this hole. So using the jack, I'm just gonna carefully push this up, guide in the new drop link through the hole. So even with the jack underneath this, it's not quite enough for me to put my washer and nut on the bottom. So you can see I've used a ratchet strap around the anti-roll bar, wrapped it around the lower suspension arm up to the chassis, and I've just tightened this up so that I can get my washer and nut on the bottom of here. And you should be able to just tighten this up until it bottoms out on the shank. And that's it, job done. So while I've still got the wheel off on this side, I've done all the suspension components and steering parts I wanted to replace now. So I'm gonna treat all this rust with my method for rust treatment. I've got a video on that if you're interested. I'll put a link to that at the top of the screen now. I've got a bit of a hole in my spring hanger, so I'm gonna grind this back and see if I can get a patch in there. So as you can see, it's exposed a massive hole. I've cleaned up all this area as best as I can. I've got a nice big plate here. I think it's two, two mil sheet metal. And I'm gonna weld this over the top of all this. I'm gonna be firing a lot of current into the chassis. So I've just disconnected the battery so I won't pop any fuses. I'd love to show you guys everything I'm doing, but I just can't get the camera in here. So I'll show you what it looks like before and after. I've shown you before. I worked this patch in and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Mm -hmm. is one patch welded in. I discovered some more rust and another hole here so I'm going to weld a patch over this um, and there's another bit in this corner here which I need to sort out. Just got to keep working on it. So there we go it looks an absolute mess I had to patch in a bit more metal here and there where there was rust so I'm going to clean it all up put a bit of seam sealer over all the welds and then I can paint it a little bit better. A nice generous coat of seam sealer over the welds. Looks a bit lumpy bumpy but it's solid. All painted in here with hammerite. No rust whatsoever. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I post regular videos, so stay tuned. If you click that little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Thank you to everyone that's already subscribed. I know I always say it, but I really appreciate the support that I'm getting on this channel. It means a lot, so thank you. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Take care.